This is your evening news update for Tuesday, March 29. Government says it's satisfied that some 30 Haitians currently in Barbados en route to Guyana are in good order. Word of this after Barbados Today broke a story on the group of Haitians staying at an apartment in Wanstead, St. James, last week. The Haitians arrived here between February 20 and 25, and Home Affairs Minister Wilfred Abrams toured the apartment at Wanstead Garden, St. James, and our Kareem Smith continues to track the story. When we came down here, when we came, we realized that they were doing a walkthrough and somewhat of an investigation. Uh, the translator, there was clearly a a major language barrier the translator would have been attempting to find out from one or two of the residents and what what the situation was and the minister you, you would have heard him repeatedly asking whether you guys are okay and whether you're being housed against your will and he said that he had come because of troubling reports about their situation uh, all who are here came to Barbados voluntarily yeah and you're leaving to go somewhere else voluntarily. Yeah. So you're not being forced to stay in Barbados or being held. Sorry, are you being forced to stay in Barbados or being kept in Barbados against you? Uh, it's the question of uh, b before and uh, answer and the question, I can say uh, everybody, she free want to stay in Barbados because we don't know why uh, we stay in the Barbados. Uh, I did not get a definitive number to confirm or deny whether there are still 33 people being housed there. We were told perhaps that some may have been moved to another property. Uh, but after those discussions, we, we went down into the basement. It's a fairly nice apartment, uh, but there were clearly quite a number of people living there. And it doesn't seem as though um, the immigration officials, the minister was too alarmed. He seemed relatively satisfied that there were being well taken care of and he promised, we asked whether he would uh, give us an interview at that time and he declined but he said that he would release a statement um, later on the circumstances here at Wanstead Gardens in St. James. Uh, my name is Kareem Smith, um, I'm reporting for Barbados Today. In other news this Tuesday, a major overhaul is in the works for the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Health and Wellness Minister Ian gooding Agile disclosed the move today as he spoke on VOB's Down to Brass Tats. He said the changes will include appointing a new board that will have as its focus a more patient-centered mandate. Um, on the medical side, there's no shortage of, of knowledge. But what we need now to have is a more commercial approach because the hospital, part of it is on the clinical side, but then the other side of it um, has to do with a lot of financing and, and, and how we improve systems and processes. Um, the new board, when, when it's announced, um, will reflect um, the thinking and the new direction for the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Patient relations essentially will be persons who are, are trained, uh, who have a customer service background, and those probably obtained within the hospital already. They will be charged with uh, interacting with patients to improve um, their perception of service, to also advise them, for example, if there are any delays, why there are any delays and why the delays are necessary. It will also create, in my judgment, an opportunity for the patients to have a, a, a focal point, a contact person to liaise with. Prime Minister Mia Motley is pushing ahead with a move to establish a free zone for trade in Barbados. Today, Motley led a delegation in a meeting with key leaders of the Dubai Free Zone. She says a draft bill proposing that Barbados become a regional logistics and trade hub will soon be taken to cabinet. And that space between South America and North America, Central America and Africa and Europe, and by extension, our ability to work with other partners such as yourself to be able to have global access. One of the things that strikes me more than anything else is the willingness to be bold and the willingness to dare. And those who are here know that that has been, for me, one of the key things that will distinguish our progress and our ability. That is why we've deliberately chosen to come here and to see how we can work better together. All the houses damaged by Hurricane Elsa will be completed in time for the 2022 hurricane season. 
That's the assurance from Housing, Lands and Maintenance Minister Dwight Sutherland, who disclosed in the House of Assembly today during the supplementary estimates number 10, 2021 to 2022, that government has completed repairs on 60% of the houses damaged throughout the country. Still battling as a government to finalize repairs and rebuild as a result of the act of God that impacted this country significantly and in a negative way. Um, as I speak to you, we, we are about 60% completed with our repairs um, throughout the country. We have both urban development, rural development and National Housing Corporation. They are the three institutions responsible for the repairs as a result of a freak storm and Hurricane Elsa. Um, one of the mandates of the government when we entered into the contract with our citizens to repair their homes and to rebuild their homes, and let me say to you that some of these homes had to be rebuilt as opposed to repaired because of the nature of the damage that were sustained across the length and breadth of this country. Now to the latest COVID-19 update. Barbados recorded 228 new cases of the viral illness, 107 males and 121 females, from the 1,056 tests conducted by the Besto Santos Public Health Laboratory on Monday. The cases comprised 43 persons under the age of 18 and 185 who were 18 years and older. The number of people in isolation facilities was 47, while 958 were in home isolation. As of March 28, the virus had claimed 331 lives. There's regional and international news after this short break. More oxygen means more energy, means more adventure. Cure oxygen, natural spring water infused with more oxygen to improve your energy, immunity and performance. The next generation of hydration. Cure Oxygen, nature's ultimate water. Caribbean Cool is a refreshing juice drink that contains 100% vitamin C that you can enjoy any time of the day. It has a refreshingly awesome range of Caribbean flavors. Morbi, orange, fruit punch, pineapple, sorrel, and pineapple coconut. Suitable for any occasion. Caribbean Cool. For regional happenings, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Rowley, has called on Britain's Prince William to do more than just offer words of acknowledgement that his country had played a significant role in the slave trade and ensure a level of compensation to those who had the liberties taken away from them as a result of the Atlantic slave trade. More on the support from TTT News. Recently, I was very pleased to hear Prince William say that he acknowledged that slavery was wrong and that the British government, the British people, have some responsibility in that piece of unforgettable history. He indicated he was pleased a member of the royal family spoke on the issue of reparations. But tonight I want to say to Prince William, having said that, I believe you, but I'll believe you more if you do what you must now do, which is to offer some reparation to the people who were wronged. On the international front, U.S. President Joe Biden says it remains to be seen whether Russia will follow through with its actions to scale down its military operations in Ukraine. Speaking during a press briefing, he said Washington and its allies will continue with their strong sanctions and aid for Ukraine in the interim. We gather details from Reuters TV. We'll see. I don't read anything into it until I see what their actions are. We'll see if they follow through on what they're suggesting. There are negotiations that have begun today, or not begun, continued today, one in Turkey and others. I had a meeting with the heads of state of uh, our four allies in NATO, France, Germany, uh, uh, the United States, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and Great Britain. And uh, there seems to be a consensus that uh, let's just see what they have to offer. We'll find out what they do. But in the meantime, 
We're going to continue to keep strong the sanctions. We're going to continue to provide the Ukrainian military with their capacity to defend themselves. And we're going to continue to keep a close eye on what's going on. Well, that's news. But for the very latest, you can visit us at www.barbadistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. And sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on iZumi Media and bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Capital Media HD, 99.3 FM.